Hi guys, Gunchimp here and welcome back to my legendary playthrough of Skyrim on the Xbox 360. In the last episode we cleared out a cave uh, for Namira as part of a Daedric questline. Um, she gave us a ring, um, but we're not really interested in that. And then we came to Old Haraldon here to deliver a message. Uh, we slept in a bed and uh, triggered a ghost. So uh, this ghost wants us to go find a sword, which uh, is handily located quite close by here at uh, Serpent's Bluff Redoubt. Um, and then obviously we've got Rorikstead there, which we haven't discovered yet either. So that's basically the plan for this episode. Um, oh God willing. So let's get on with it. Now, I've got to admit, uh, Markarth is probably the deadliest part of Skyrim. Um, just because uh, wandering around the countryside, you're likely to get attacked by um, quite high level bears. Um, but also, you know, there's uh, the Forsworn who are real badasses. I mean, they can one-shot you even when you're at level 50 with the magic attacks that they have. Um, and it also seems to be quite a, a popular area with uh, vampires as well. Uh, you'll even find them in daytime, which is kind of annoying. Uh, I'm not sure if that's because of the Dawnguard DLC. Oh, and also they have flying trees. <laughs> okay. Um, so, yeah, that's not a good sign either. Um, I'm guessing we need to follow this path I would have thought to where we're going so uh, yeah I've been kind of avoiding Markarth up until now but I kind of been looking through my quest list and um, it looks like I really can't afford to you know avoid Markarth missions anymore because we do have quite a lot to get through so I'm just gonna have to bite the bullet I think and um, you know I hope we get lucky and start taking down these Forsworn encampments because uh, Markarth is quite a good place to live um, you know the house you get that you can buy is actually quite a good one um, and it's not that expensive so I just thought I might as well unlock this tower as we're here if it's not too much trouble because where we're going is actually over that way there's another tower over there but I'm not gonna bother with that one because uh, it's all fast travel points at the end of the day Bleak Wind Bluff. Okay, not going to bother finding out what's there right now. Turns so we probably will have to come back here at some point. Uh, what's that? It's like a little house. And then there's a ruin. Hmm. Which do we go for? That town just and up into north now. I think that's Rorikstead. Which you may remember is where the um, unlucky horse sea from the very beginning of this game is from. Let's see what this little house is. Is it too far away? It's just down there. Hmm. Okay, might as well. What the heck? Let's see what it is. Hang on, let's ski this. Random. Oh man. Ski infestation. Oh, I suck. Where did one go? Okay, that's random, I've seen that before. Lund's hut, let's go find out what's in. Whoa! Any more? No, okay. Uh, so I say this is Lund, who's been pwned by a lot of skeevers. But is there anything useful in here? Load of beer, ruined book. Ooh, poison, why not? Load of apples. So it's not exactly the most thrilling location. Oh, I'll take the still though. Alright, whatever. Let's get out of here. It's obviously nothing major. 
Let's just check the map, see where we are. We're there. And we want to go there. Hmm, Reichstead's kind of on the way, though. Oh, well. See if we can get up this hill. Just for a better vantage point more than anything else. Uh, see what we can see. I'm assuming it must be over that way. Okay. Yeah, that must be Roikstead, so let's just run over there as well, just to unlock it, nothing else. Uh, there's quite a lot of missions and stuff to be getting on with here as well. But we'll get to them a little later. One, unlock, there we go. <laughs> Okay, so that's Roikstead, um, but it's not interesting for now, it's just to, to unlock it as a fast travel point. So I want to try and get this uh, mission over with for the ghost this episode, if we can. Okay, this looks interesting. Oh, okay, it's a dragon burial mound by the looks of it. So I'll probably be coming here at some point as well. <laughs> Oops. Thank you. And yeah, we're going straight, I guess. And check it out, it's pretty stunning. And this is an Xbox, remember? It's no no mods or anything like on the PC to make it look even better. Um, I guess we're going in there, is that it? Okay, now we've got to be careful because, like I say, we'll force one are pretty deadly. Go on, go check out what happened to your buddy. <laughs> I love the way that sometimes they build these guys up to be like super hard and then just take them out with one shot, but um, it is honestly, they are pretty deadly. If you get a mage who like spots you, then you know you're in trouble unless you get taken down quickly. And the problem is, I don't have any paralysis poisons either. So, you know, I've got to be really careful. I mean, there's one there. That's your best. Huh? Oh. That's one, two, three. So we've taken out three, so it might be worth wolfing up. Depends how many more of them there are. But three's quite good so far. Uh oh, huh? she's detected me. Well, that would be you. Whoa! I mean, these things can just take you out. It's so annoying. <laughs> They're pretty, pretty powerful. And this one took me by surprise as well, so I never got a chance of getting a sneak attack bonus. Um, but I'm guessing. Wow, an invisible one. <laughs> okay, that's freaky. Not sure where she is, but anyway. Uh oh. Okay, where? Oh, okay. Oh no, it would have to be a briar heart. These things are deadly up close. You know, they will just take you out. Didn't expect that, did ya? You don't have a chance. She's so probably right, actually. <laughs> wow, how see what I mean? It's just a nightmare. Uh potions. Oh man, he's got a friend as well. Just what they mean. Where you at, dude? <laughs> I get him? Oh, awesome. This is going quite well actually. Um, 
and they're all dying pretty close together which is good for when I wolf up because obviously I'm going to now um, any more in here? I'm guessing this is the way in okay so that's where we have to go to get the thingy ghost sword um, oh and that's pretty much it okay excellent so I'll just check out this little area nice okay so good um, what have we got in here workbench What about those? So yeah, that's all that. Let's get into the castle then, I guess. Um, actually, no, let's wolf up these guys first of all. Because um, otherwise I'll just forget or they might disappear. So let's just quickly do this. So there's one, two, three, four. And that's another one. Okay. Uh, did I get in? There was another one over here, but it's suddenly becoming visible. So, I'm not sure what happened to that one. And uh, I think that's everyone. So, let's just check how we're doing actually on the perk front. We're quite close. We need, I think we just need two more, is it? Yep, yeah, that's one, two. So, yeah, we're, we're getting close. We're getting there. So, let's just wait four hours. There's a good wolf. Uh, can't take the map, it's a bit of a shame. So let's suit up and get on in. Um, yeah, right, like I'm going to want to use force one arrows, you're kidding. Go back to the dwarven arrows. And uh, we're good to go. Let's get in and uh, find this sword. Hopefully this dungeon is going to be too big though, because we haven't got that much time. Okay, so... Awesome. I've seen tripwire as well, so it's kind of good. If uh, we're just cold, hunting bow, whatever. <laughs> Mad men of the reach. Just take everything for now, I'm not bothered. Okay. Pressure play there, and obviously another spike trap, but uh, we have the. Lightfoot perks, that's not a problem for me. However, those are, so hopefully it's going to let me shoot between these bars because otherwise that would be just annoying. Nice. Nice, go check out your boss. Awesome, that was brilliant. That went quite well actually. Alright, oh, okay, that was for the, the gate trap here. <laughs> OK, 
carry on. But so far, so good. Take the dagger, because I'm hopefully in an upcoming episode, not too long from now, we are actually going to start enchanting, see if we can get enchanting up to 100. Because what I want to be able to do is um, dual enchant. So when you get to level 100, you can actually dual enchant items, which basically means, for example, you could make a set of armor which um, which you then can use for one-handed and also archery, for example. Um, so that's going to be really useful. Now, this is a bit of a nightmare, if I remember correctly, because you have to hit that kind of pad and then run up here as quickly as possible before to get through this gate it's on kind of a timer switch because I don't think you can shoot it I mean we'll try but I don't think that works It'd be good if it did nope okay so run little man go 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 run 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 and oh man that was unlucky <laughs> That was really unlucky. Okay, let's try one again. Oh, come on. <laughs> right, yeah, let's try this one again. There we go. Run, 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 run. Go, go, go. Okay, I'm going to have to use whirlwind sprint, I think. Problem is how we do that. I don't know because obviously it's stairs. Which is not the best way. Actually, can I? Drag a body onto the switch? I never tried it. So this probably won't work, but you never know. Well, the thing is, how do I lift up the body? Come on. <laughs> okay. I mean, this probably won't work, but, you know, we can try it. Come on. Has that worked? It'd be good if it did. <laughs> yeah, that's brilliant. That's one way of doing it. I don't actually think that would work, but anyway. Glad it did. <laughs> um, so we need to go this way. Ooh, excellent. That's good. An enchanting desk, because we need to do some enchanting. Although, if I remember correctly, I think I stupidly left all my uh, soul gems back in uh, Honeyside. So, we have one. So, what the heck? No, not the sword. It weighs too much. Uh, dagger, dagger, dagger. High and dagger. Enchantment is par paralyzed. Just the one, because otherwise it's just too expensive. And no one can buy it. Twin secrets. We've already learnt. Nothing interesting there. Nothing interesting there. Yalti sword, that's what we came for. Excellent. Battle axe of fatigue, do we have that enchantment? Yes, we do. Okay, fair enough. And yeah, I think that's pretty much it for this place. Um, so, Elven Great Sword, what the heck? Because that was kind of fun with the body. I didn't actually think that would work. So, I was kind of happy when it did. And there's a button. Open the gate. Gates are good.
Okay, cool. I think this is a way out. Now, is there a switch on this side of the door? Because otherwise, it could be quite a good way of just skipping out. No, I don't think it would be. Skipping the entire part. But uh, yeah, that's that one done. And we're back out in Skyrim. So that's another quest ready to hand in. All we need to do now is get back to... Let's see where we're supposed to go now. Yep, go back to um, Alter Roldan. Um, we'll hand in that quest and then um, we'll carry on doing things in and around Markas. For now though guys, uh, thanks for watching as always. It is a pleasure to have you on board and uh, let me know in the comments below you know, how you're finding the series, if there's anything you'd like me to improve. Um, as you know, I am doing this for you as well as me. Um, and yeah, thanks for all your support. Take care and peace.